compare that round to yesterday's? I know the conditions were a little bit different, but can you explain the challenges in, the, in both I, rounds? Yeah, today's round was a lot like the last half of yesterday's mm -hmm. round, where I started off pretty scrappy and trying to find my footing, and then I did. I, I finished very strong and um, just carried over to today. Hit the ball solidly. Um, a few more fairways today, which was nice. And, um, you know, you just – this golf course kind of requires it all. You have to be – long and accurate off the tee and smart with your decisions coming into the greens and hit really solid approaches. And then the short game, you know, you have to do that everywhere. But this course just is a – there's a reason that so many players rave about this course. It's, it requires everything. And I so far this week I've done everything, you know, fairly well. You're kind of splitting your schedule a little bit this year with the Champions Tour now that you're 50 and, and, um, and playing here as well. Um, I know you've been out there in contention a little bit. Um, what, what did it feel like to be back in contention here? PJ Tour? Yeah, it, it feels great. I mean, it, being in contention feels the same way no matter where you are, to be honest. I mean, it's it's obviously the field is a little different here at Valspar than it was the last time I teed up at uh, Cologuard in Tucson on the PGA Tour Champions. But it still feels the same, and I didn't have a very good finish there. Um, I was To say it in contention would be like understating. <laughs> I should have won the tournament, and I didn't finish it off I just kind of uh, had a little bit of a meltdown so I'm just thrilled to be like right back at the top of the leaderboard to test myself out again this week because that's really what you want at the start of the year you want to get in contention as much as possible and let the chips fall and you know you you start trying to uh, control too many things out there and it doesn't work out in your favor so I get another chance to learn some really great lessons and maybe some hard lessons this week again and being out here for a long time um, you know staying healthy good longevity and you make a cut and it's going to be your 500th on tour. I mean, what, what sort of mark is that? Uh, you know, how do you feel about that? Well, I didn't know about that until Kira told me a little while ago. <laughs> but um, I guess milestone would be, you know, appropriate language to use. I'm, I've been playing out here a long time and I've had, you know, some ups and downs, but a lot of ups. And it's, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. To make 500 cuts, I think, is um, – I think that's – pretty respectable I guess I know a lot of players are celebratory when they reach 500 events and to uh, be able to put that number on your cuts made I'm proud of that Kira also talked to you about your cross-handed chipping and a lot of people probably haven't seen you do that until today how long have you been doing that or experimenting with that I've been doing it for about two years now in competition and it's been uh, kind of unnoticeable because my golf has been kind of unnoticeable for the last two years but um, I was practicing that way a little bit and I just noticed that my technique just seems to be better gripping the club that way I cannot explain it but uh, seeing Matt Fitzpatrick have success with it kind of gave me the confidence to take it into competition um, you, out here you kind of don't want to be the first guy to do something it takes a lot of guts so um, to have another player already doing that in competition kind of gave me what I felt was kind of like a green light to go ahead and just uh, throw it into competition and it was like a transformation almost immediately my short game statistics have been a lot better and my attitude my mindset around the greens has just been like night and day difference and it's so much fun you've always taken a few risks though I mean that's never been an issue for you and um, why do you think that is as far as you know is that why you made up that way to, to take those risks and try and I, I think um, you're right about that I have always been uh, I'm, I'm not a risk taker personality but in golf my career out here has been full of like big changes and I think I learned early on that I respond pretty well to the focus required with big change and um, going all the way back to like when I won the British Open I, I, I won the tournament with basically an entire new putting approach like I ditched the long putter I started using a short putter changed my grip, changed my whole approach, my pre-shot routine and everything. And I was still so new into that that it required focus. And, and so that kind of change that or that kind of focus and that result just kind of gave me the confidence to know that it, like not only like change is good, but it feels like it's almost required for me to like stay locked in. You know, recently became a grandfather. What have, what have you learned from that position <laughs> and how, how satisfying has that been for you? I, what I've learned from becoming a grandfather is I marvel that we were able to do that with our own kids because I've seen my son and my daughter-in-law just not sleep and uh, just do what's required. They're amazing. They're so natural at being parents. But uh, it's been a little while, you know, since we had a little baby around, and it's exhausting. But she is just fabulous. Her name's Stella, and we just are just so thrilled with her.
And just finally back to the golf, what what would you say was your best shot today or your best moment out on the course? Um, my best moment on the course for sure was I hit it left off six and I was in the pine straw. It's really matted down over there, almost like hard pan. And I had a little opening, but I needed to curve a shot about 30 or 40 yards. And I hit just this most beautiful hook, like sweeping underneath the trees that carried just short of the green perfectly, went up there about six feet from the hole. And uh, I mean, that was literally escaping from jail. It was uh, a cool moment and I finished it off with a birdie. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so satisfying. All right. Yeah, you got it.